Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're keeping well. It's Joanne Lavelle here, and you join me today in RD Terrace in Dundalk, a beautiful old world, old world charm part of Dundalk. We're situated here just along the RD Road. You're within walking distance of the town centre, schools, the train station is just a tick up that way. And um, it's a lovely gap between being in the centre of town but being part of a nice little suburb as well. So this is a property which is a refurb opportunity. So if you're looking for a property, particularly if you're looking for an older property that you want to put your own stamp on, then this is definitely going to be of interest to you. And um, stay tuned for the end because the back garden here is a massive wow factor, huge potential in this gorgeous a uh, surprisingly long back garden with workshop at the end and rear access. So let's have a look inside. This has 15 RD Terrace. Just so that you know, it's going on the market at about 200,000. It measures, I think, approximately 97 square meters. It is a listed building, so it is BER exempt. Uh, let's go and have a look inside. So first off, you can see here the gorgeous detail, the architectural details on these period properties and that beautiful, rich red, uh, red stone build materials. You're into the entrance hallway, important features of its age, that beautiful arch uh, feature along the center of the entrance hallway. And you've got the stairs there leading upstairs. Lovely wide entrance hallway, again, typical of its age. The lovely older carpentry of the higher uh, skirting boards, for example. We're into the first reception room, the first of two. And um, again, a lot of important original features here, um, which I suppose really, I can only give you a glimpse of them today. It's definitely a property that's worth coming in and having a proper walk around. But you can see there, it's a really nicely proportioned space. A um, little bit of cabinetry at the side for storage and then space there for, well, really, it's it's ideal for a stove, isn't it, there, if that's what you wanted to do. The property doesn't have central heating, so and um, these are important considerations for you. Second reception room. Again, oh, I love this. You see the um, clothes dryer, the clothes air horse uh, ceiling hung clothes horse, which I think that's fabulous. Uh, this is the second. This This would be... Well, I suppose really it's the breakfast room, it's the dining room, it's whatever you need it to be. Again, nice, nicely proportioned. There's a little bit of uh, understairs storage there, which could very nicely be repurposed and used. On then to the kitchen. It is a basic kitchen that's here. Um, it is something that you're you know, going to be focusing on in terms of the next owner. And it's in a lean-to off the back of the property. Now, before we go outside, let's have a look upstairs. Three bedrooms to show you, folks. I'll give you a little peep at what's ahead of you outside. Look at that. Right, up we go. Up at the top of the stairs is the bathroom in here to the left, okay? Um, and here is the first bedroom, all right? It's a small double or a very large single, but it's a great room. Okay, original doors there as well. Um, the vertical panel, country style. This is the largest of the bedrooms. It's, it's so unusual. There is a fireplace there. Um, basically, it looks to be like a white cast iron fireplace. It's blocked off. Um, and then an array of cabinetry around. Okay. All right, and then nice, beautiful cabinets there, actually. Very Victorian looking. And then this is the third room. What a fabulous overmantel and cabinetry covering up the fireplace. I was very impressed with that. And if you open that up there, that's what you've got. So again, the, there would have been a fireplace there. There would have been an active fire there. So in this room, basically, that's some cabinetry. That's a built-in bed base. Um, at the side of the room and then look more built-in storage there so um interesting in terms of its it's um the proportions are very good and also some very good built-in storage which is certainly worth retaining you're probably 
you're probably going to find that there's quite a lot of features in this house that you would want to retain. I always like to know people's opinions and what they would, what their vision is for property, especially when you see a refurb like this. You're going to have a lot of thinking to do when I show you the back garden. Let's take a look. So there's a very sweet little lean-to off the kitchen. Very nice pocket door there, by the way. Big fan of pocket doors. Don't know about you. I love them. Very space efficient. So outside here, we've already had the bathroom upstairs. There's also a WC downstairs. Okay. And look at this. There you go. Uh, some more storage here. And then out we go. I love the midway painted as well, the green and white. Off we go outside. There is an abundance of storage here going on all over the place. Um, a lot of very clever planning went into how this house is. Um, and my hat off to the gentleman uh, who made it like this and the family. Um, so this is the back garden. It very much has a feel at this point in time of a sort of a secret garden because it's a little bit overgrown but um, there are some, there is some beauty in here for sure. Uh, definitely a bird lover has constructed some very smart little ways to attract the birds and the pollinators to the garden, which I think is very clever. Midway down the garden here, I must measure the garden so that I can let you know, is this beautiful old uh, glass house. Um, and not too long since it was probably um, churning out plenty, plenty tomatoes and cucumbers and the like. And you can see their little iris garden there as well. It's really lovely. You could have such a good time making this garden your own. So now we're heading towards the work side of the back of the house. Um, uh, there's a, it's, it's essentially a workshop of many parts. And as we go down to the end now, you'll see this is a, a sort of mini factory. If somebody is looking for a property where they have a workspace, um, then this may well be of interest. Look at this. Lined up, ready to go. And then around to the other side. There you have it. Very unusual, very unusual space, um, but so much potential. And then I'll just show you just here then another little storage there now if i can get this open i want to show you here just talk amongst yourselves for a moment i'm going to try and open this back gate well i can show it to you from outside so that you can see but there's essentially full access from here onto here we go onto a rear access and here we go Okay, so this is vehicular access. So this would be a shared route along the neighboring homes and um, giving rear access to the properties. And um, so it's a nice secure rear boundary, um, but with much potential for you to use it um, more suitably to the next person's needs. So let's have a quick walk back through the garden. I love those workbenches. Folks, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this property and what you would do with it. It is a beauty now and a beauty in the future in what it's going to become. Um, it is unusual to find a lovely refurb property opportunity that you're thinking, you know, that you want to make into a home. So I am anticipating good interest in this property online and offline. So please do let us know if you have an interest in taking a look at number 15 RD Terrace. We're now on the market, you have all the details and uh, we will be delighted to show it to you. Um, so give us a call, you know how to reach us. Also, um, thank you to all of you for all your continuing support and comments on the channel. And um, if you need our help, you know where you can get us. Have a great day, bye bye.